interesting on the stream today. Uh, we got an absolute plethora of high PS, rebel love, and ordinance. Um, we'll go through the one on the right, because that might be something that you probably expected to see uh, at a high level table at some point today. It is quite possibly right now the bell of the ball when it comes to lists. Everybody's just gushing over this, uh, the Nim Miranda. Um, so Nim's running that wonderful VI Auto Blaster, Expeditions, uh, Harpoon Missiles. Now Justin's got this flavor with Ion Bombs and Proton Bombs. Uh, trajectory Simulator, Genius, Engine Upgrade, and Havoc. I, I really think truly that Nim needs more spots for upgrades on his ship card. There's just not enough on there yet. Um, we need another three or four upgrades. He probably needs another title that gives him another title. Um, okay, joking aside, we're on to Miranda, which we've probably seen her in many configurations. This is more of a Swiss Army version of Miranda. She's literally good at everything. She's got TLT. She has extra munitions. She's got harpoons. She's got Sabine. She's got bomblets. And she's got long-range scanners. Uh, Ryan, on the other hand, uh, if you remember, you might remember him if you see him on stream or not. Uh, quite a, he's, Ryan's relatively new to the game, I think, into our scene. No, he's been playing for ages. No, he's been playing for ages. Oh, he's from uh, he's from out west, though. He's uh, okay. Out west. He's, he's new for he's, he's new to our scene, like Milton Guelph area. Okay, yeah, so he yeah, plays yeah. plays west of the GTA. And he's been last seen uh, going top four at our Canadian region, national, nationals. So. Um, running a pretty great game. He's a great guy. He's a very laid back, awesome person. I'm sure Justin's great too. I just haven't had a chance to interact with him yet. I'm assuming he's great. I assume everyone's great. But Ryan's got something really Justin fun. Justin seems us. like a really nice guy. Yeah. Ryan's got something really fun for us to take a look at. Uh, he's rocking. Yes, you are reading that right. That's Wedge and Tilly's. The original badass the and all Wedge, badass pilots. Um, running adaptability, plasma torps, flight assist, which. This card is amazing. Breathing new life into X Wings, uh, X Wing Primes in general. It's great to see them on the table. This is a really cool upgrade. I'm really glad it exists. Uh, and guidance chips. Kraken, Aaron Kraken, a Z95 for all those out there. Amazing. Uh, running veteran instincts, harpoon missiles, and guidance chips. And then Captain Nim, running veteran instincts, auto blaster, harpoon missiles, ray, bomblet, and guidance chips. So that's three ships Ryan's got running all at PS10 all with FU munitions on them, all with highly accurate, highly sustained shots. And look we'll at, go through and do the breakdown on some of their Wedge. abilities soon. Look at Wedge. But he has forgone a free upgrade yeah. to give him a hull upgrade. Right. He has forgone integrated astromech mm -hmm. to get guidance chips on there to smash that alpha striking yeah. damage in. And for those of us wondering at home, in case you haven't seen some of these abilities, we'll go through them in a second. And actually, before we do that, I want to have Devin report on uh, the setups and the thought processes from the players. So Justin said that he held, he wanted to use Ryan's rock deployment against him. He wanted to keep, whenever Ryan would deploy a rock, he would keep something in tight because he figured as bombers, he can get in there, he can drag Ryan's ships through the rocks, he can he can get in first and, and pull his ships apart. And uh, he's going to try and shut down the Alpha, try and do some range control. Justin's going to try and keep out of range 3, range 3 for the first engagement, bomb into range 2, leave some bombs behind, get the heck out, right? Ryan, he's playing kind of cagey. He's, uh, he seemed pretty similar to, to, say, let's say Garrett earlier in the day where he was a little... A little off, of, didn't feel so great about the matchup. Mm -hmm. He's going to be chasing Miranda. He said he wanted to alpha down Miranda. That was his primary target. And then he could work on Nim, mm -hmm. right? I don't know if that's the right choice based on, like, the, the points spread. Right. But uh, he's he's deployed the rocks really tight to keep uh, Ryan, keep Justin from flanking him from, from up board. You can see the, the four rocks there in the middle middle left of the board. He's put them there to, to stop uh, Justin from flanking and... He's hoping to be patient, takes the shot, take the shots that Justin gives him, and uh, set up uh, some some great alpha, and and hopefully you know not go too hot and heavy, which we saw punish Jeff earlier in the day. Right. Now Justin's running 97 points on his list, meaning that he's going to have the option to decide whether or not he uh, took initiative. Do do we know how that shook out yet? Uh, yes. So uh, I'm sure I missed it by what not watching the first turn. Actually, the fact that Justin's moving his PS10... No, no he he's moving Miranda. Yeah. This, will, so this turn will tell us exactly Ryan, I initiative. believe, has initiative, so that he will move his Nim first and, and shoot first. So... Interesting, interesting. Um, Trajectory is on, uh, on, on Justin's list, uh, but we... Uh, but Ryan doesn't have it on his. So, uh, chat is wondering about these players... This is the third table from the top, so these players are uh, both... Uh, three and one? Yeah. Both three and one, probably, or four and oh? I believe Ryan's four and oh. Okay. 
Yeah. So he's I, mean, I know he went into this round being last round being three and zero. I was talking yeah. to him. All right, interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do a brief rundown for maybe some of the newer players who might not know about abilities and stuff like that. So Nim's a bit interesting because Nim uh, can play in both play. He plays both teams. He can be on scum or he can be in reb. So in the in the rebel formation, he's able to leave a bomb token behind him. Um, once per round, he can leave a friendly bomb token and stop it from exploding, which means is if he's got two tokens out, he can pick one of them and leave it behind. The next round, he can drop another one and do it again, and he can change which one he leaves behind. Actually, you can see right there behind you, just for fun, Ryan has decided to drop um, a bomb lit last round and just stop it from blowing up just to be cheeky. Um, Wedge is doing some interesting things you might not have realized what was just happening there, but Wedge has got an awesome ability. He had a really great ability for a core set box as he came out there. When he's attacking, your defender rolls one less attack die. Now, back in the day when X-Wings were the big dogs on the block with their three attack dice, Wedge at range one was absolutely terrifying because you'd probably have two evade die and he'd have four. Um, likewise, he's still going to... He's still going to factor in as he shoots that harpoon missile at you, stealing away one of your range bonuses. That means at range three, Wedge gets to throw four attack dice with his harpoon at you, and you only get two because you don't get range bonus if you're a three of eight dice ship. So both. And also, sorry. If yeah, you yeah, no worries. The boost that you saw there was from the flight assist astromech, which is an amazing upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, zero point, zero point, correct? Uh, one point? Is one, point. one point. One point, yes. The one point droid that came out in the Shitipede, um, and it allows you that if you don't have anything in Arc, you get a free booster barrel last Keeper year, PG. Which is massive on um, on the T65. It's a great way to breathe life back into them. And Kraken's ability is yeah. whenever he attacks, he's able to give a free friend around him at range one to two, I believe. An action. An action. Which, I mean, actions are always good, as we know in this game. So these players are both 4-0. And they're in the fourth and fifth seed slot. Okay, so they uh, these these players are so both going, four going, and zero today. Going four and one still potentially no. One of them is going to one of them. Four so uh, the way it's going to break down today, uh, we're going to have about twenty four and twos at okay. the end of the day. Okay, and eight of those are going to make the top six. So again, this is still technically not even technically. This is still potentially a bubble match because you really don't want to have to go into the next match guaranteeing a win. Yeah, you win this one, you can actually drop your next match and you're still in. Yep. Okay, so this is a this this match is for taking pressure off. This is this is going to be really interesting. It, uh, whether they win or lose, this is a really important match for these mm -hmm. guys. And it's interesting that that uh, Ryan left the bomb lip behind. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just, I wonder if he's doing it just to be cheeky or remind himself it's his ability. Uh, we've seen that before. Uh, we'll have to see if he dro drops it again this turn. Yeah, that might do a little more board control, keeping someone from coming through the rocks, but. I think he maybe might be doing it to defend his, his rear flank until uh, Justin decides to decide on an angle. He, he did seem very concerned about the flanking action and was using the rocks to prevent that from happening, which okay. we're seeing Justin just thread the needle through the rocks. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's the, the fear is to be justified if he's just going to come right on in and uh, no fear, just, yeah. just get through and... and uh, now, to comment to Ryan's um, his, his intention of what he wanted to do this match... Wind the alpha down. As anybody who's ever played against Miranda before knows, it's it is really really difficult to kill her. Like you have to make sure you are ready to end it that turn or the next turn. Otherwise, well, if you let her get away, all that traction you gained in doing damage to her was almost for nothing. So you got to so alpha her got down to, in one turn, or you have to make sure you set up that you've got attack, you've got range one, you've got two rounds of shooting at her with your whole list. Hopefully kill him. And Ryan's got that this turn. He's already pulled target lock from his Nim. So his Nim has target lock. He, so he said he wanted Alpha Miranda. So he said he was. Gonna, Ryan said he was going to kill whatever Justin gave him first, and Justin's given him Miranda. Interesting. And now we're going to have a wedge flight assist astromech check. It's going to be in. He's going to take a target lock. Yeah. He's going to shoot plasmas. He's going to strip shields. He's going to shoot harpoons. He's going to put crits through. So for anybody curious of what's going on right there, what Ryan was measuring at that point is he was measuring to see if he had range on uh, on Justin's Miranda. Because if he didn't, he would have been able, as, just, as just Devin was saying, he'd be mm -hmm. able to get a free boost out of Flight Assist Astro, getting himself into range 3, and then taking a target lock. Again, Flight Assist Astro is an amazing upgrade, amazing uh, card to get onto these uh, X-Wings. And all of his ships are going to be able to shoot. Well, except, oh, for, just except for Kraken. That's tough. Ah, uh, it means he'll get it off next turn. I mean, it, it, he's not means it means Nim is not going to be able to shoot with f focus target lock. That's true, right? 
Because so, ideally, the plan what Ryan wanted to do in his alpha, he's, he probably wants to fire. And and look, there we go. He those, probably wants to fire with Kraken first mm-hmm. to give to give Wedge the free focus token so that you yeah. can guarantee to do four damage through on the... Oh, Trajectory Simulator, here comes a Proton Bomb. Yeah. Oh, Ion, Ion Bomb. Yeah. Interesting. Now, that doesn't look... That, that doesn't look like it hits, but Rebel Nim, he can hold that there. Correct. Right? Oh, I just realized with Rebel Nim, and he's you don't checking, have to worry too much if you've hit or not. And now he's checking for target lock, so he'll know that range, and he'll know whether he can hold it or not. Yeah, exactly. That's beautiful. So he didn't have target lock, so he's going to try and boost. That looks like it's going to be on the I rock. I think it's on the rock, yeah. He can't boost. No. So he may boost boost uh, to, sh- to board left or ship right and uh, and see what happens. Nim's in a very difficult situation, and you can see here when Ryan was talking about how he wanted to use those rocks to get in between him and the enemy flanking, and this is exactly the position he's mm-hmm. talking about. So Raven Mask, I can see that you're a little confused as to how Nim was able to do the shenanigans he just did. That's uh, from the new upgrade that just came out in the last wave in yep. the giant bomber that's from the res- the resistance bomber, and that's called tra- tra- Trajectory Simulator. Yep. I've only said it 37 times today, so you'd think I didn't know how to say it properly. Sh- sh- and I'm going to say it 37 sh- more times tomorrow, that's or 50. Uh, yeah, half the time going to be in every single but that's a it's a it yeah it's already been described right down there by Patrick for us thank you yeah so it's uh, a hell of a card yeah and uh, we've seen it on stream a couple of times today yeah and are you gonna let it go off well he moved it so oh he did All I right. think because that's where that's the space that his nim wants to occupy next turn so he's not gonna leave it there for him to deal with that's smart call and Justin's thing I I suppose I suppose otherwise it would have made his nim go and the other thing that is important to know now. That Ryan's Nim is a missile carrier, no turret, no turret, right? He's got auto blaster. He's got auto blaster. But that's however, really not not so net. There's no ace to, to wreck with auto blaster. However, Justin's Nim has TLT. Yes. Arguably the better title or the better uh, uh, turret. Yeah. So we're gonna see a damage TLT. on Nim probably. So, but Ryan's got uh, the Ray where, Bank. Where did we? Oh, His Ray. Ray Bank. Okay. And oh, okay. I like it. This is a really cool he's, list he's that harp- I put together. He's harpooning first. I'm surprised. I would have strip plasmas. Strip plasmas. I would have shot plasmas first, so that you would have. Actually, his plasma would have been incredibly accurate because Ray uh, uh, Miranda would have only stolen had one die. Yeah. Chips focus. He's keeping that target lock. Oh, that's the wrong die, <laughs> Justin. Perfect. Here Justin we go. Rolls hit, roll, Justin rolls a crit on defense, and there's the evade. So he's gonna take three. All right. So now the ability. See of... now if that was a proton. Sorry for cutting you off. But if that was a plasma torp, Miranda's shield list, and then that's four damage into her with a harpoon. I'm not sure why he uh, fired in that order. I, I think he's just he's uh, now he's shooting with the. Now he's shooting with the plasma. And like I said, I it might have been just a little more efficient to do it in the other order, just so that you would have ensured to get. Oh, that's that's. Oh, that's... thank you, full shield. Heart. Yeah, you're right. Okay, genius. Okay, I get it now. So for anybody who didn't realize what he did, I'm, now I'm understanding where Ryan's coming from. Wedge has guidance chips and has three attack dice. He guarantees a crit through. Yeah. So he's going to proc at the harpoon condition when he fires his plasma torpedo. Intelligent. Thank you for, for pointing that out for us. Sure. He gets. He loses and a shield. And you can't get the Yes, and now the crit goes. Th- okay, there you go. Yeah, thanks, chat. You guys know what's up. Good thinking. So how much damage did he do on that attack with Wedge? I was too busy talking. He did a crit. That's so it. He took the last shield. That's brutal. But the harpoon condition should have procced and done a face down damage card. Done a face as well. down damage. Yeah. Hopefully they remember that because that's a missed opportunity. If not, someone aggressively trying to get it from the side. Yeah, uh, the zombies are attacking. Yeah. I wonder if he remembers. This to is this that or is not. Miranda regening shields, right? Yeah. Looks like he did remember it. The face down damage is yeah. on the hull. Yeah. Awesome. Or it's just Travis listening to us. Maybe. So that's interesting. That's unfortunate. All he got out of that tarp- out of that plasma torpedo was just a, just a crit. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, going for that guaranteed crit on the harpoon. That that's the solid plan. That's pretty cool. But Miranda's really hurt here, and and sh- she may have run regen to shield. Travis has ran run to go check. Um, I imagine that you would. Yeah, you know, but she I mean, someone and she's just gonna be able to slam away. They they really jumped through those TLT shots. So. While we were waxing about uh, yeah, the order Nim, of, did, of did munitions. Nim, oh, did Nim not have range after his boost? I, th- I I thought he did. Duke Speed, get used to it, unfortunately. That's what you're going to be seeing all day tomorrow. It's Lots of our, Nims. 
It's it's one of the best ships in the game. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't be flying it. Uh, they uh, they nerfed him uh, so three different ways, and and he's still top top of the pile. That's so. okay. He'll be nerfed a year and a half from now, like the Jump Masters. Mm. So this will be really interesting. Ryan can play really nice and slow. Uh, Nim's gonna have to, or, or Justin's Nim is going to have to come in very, very quickly, or, or very engage very aggressively. And Miranda's probably gonna three bank, three bank disappear. G D GTFO. I mean, she's got to right. Yeah, she's got three bank, three banks. And then if she, no, but if, she, if if Ryan thinks about that and calls that, he can hard two with wedge and hard two with Kraken and one straight with Nim and keep the pressure on his Miranda. Yeah, absolutely. So who knows? Let's see how he feels. Or or he might even try to thread the needle with his... Uh, Justin might try to thread the needle with his Miranda. He can do a... Oh, no, he can't. I'm bad at I'm bad at this game. I was thinking he might be able to thread through um, those two rocks right there where his own Nim is, but that's a little bit difficult. This is, this is going to be a really critical round, right? And I mean... I've, Ryan going 4-0 right now with Wedge Antilles is beautiful. We've not mm -hmm. seen Aaron Kraken in a competitive game in some time. This is great. Ryan loves flying those janky lists. He took Fair Ship Rebel uh, to the top at Canadian Nationals. Mm -hmm. Top four. Lost to the eventual winner, Bohan, on stream. Mm -hmm. That's a great match. Oh, he played it out. Match. It was interesting. Uh, you know, he almost Ryan almost had it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a great player. He, he won our... Uh, our our second original trilogy tournament. Yeah. So I'm glad to see uh, Justin come in and give him a good shake. And we've got, uh, I really want to see what Justin's going to do here because he was talking about getting in first, alphaing down one of the ships. So what these, it looks like he's going for a range one shot with Miranda and uh, maybe he's a three forward, three bank out. Looks or like he's, he's gonna, just, he's going to drop a bomb at first. Oh, that's a solid choice. Yeah. Why not leave it behind? Clog up that hole. Miranda choice. Miranda can drop a five die harpoon missile into someone if she chooses to, but he's going to be in real tight. So we'll have to see. I'm imagining he might actually see, choose to stay there. He might. It's going to ja jam everything up. That's maybe what he was hoping for. He was probably hoping that Ryan might think he would. Bo oh, never mind. Oh, three slam. Well, he's put it down, so he's got to do it now, which he knows. That's why he's just getting the maneuver to go straight in. And you know, it's not a it's not a bad move. Nim's nope. Nim doesn't have bombs. Everything Ryan's, flies past him. That's actually Ryan's pretty, got no bombs. Yeah, that's actually a really good call. Really good and safe call. When in doubt, crash into your opponents. They're gonna fly past you. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. We don't normally see Miranda being the lowest PS ship on the board. No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. I I want to know what Ryan's doing because Justin's gonna have complete board information. Mm -hmm. Four mm -hmm. forward from who? Z ninety. Oh no, from Nim. Okay, so he's gonna lose. Oh, he does have level. bomblets, so he's yeah. gonna drop a bomb. Yeah. But I don't know if. So I mean that's a that's interesting. He's I gonna not... hold it there, close off a lane, cause he'll he'll hold that one and let the other one blow up. Yeah. He'll hold that there to clog up the lane. I mean this, you know, Force rebel name is an interesting ability. To just be forcing able to just drop forcing forever. Justin to the right of the board, right over to back to his back original. into where he wants him to come. Cause that's probably where the rest of his ship is going. Yeah. And then he's gonna focus. I this is this is going to be interesting. Uh, if it's a one forward, boys, it just bumps. Oh, he might be doing that on purpose. Does that clear? I don't know if it clears or not. Oh, that's interesting. If he's overlapping, he stays right where he is and gets a shot and gives a, an ability. To, uh... <laughs> yeah, call a judge. Get someone else in there. Yeah. Yeah, call a judge. When in doubt, call a judge. When in doubt, call a judge. I had, you know, when I was marshalling Canadian Nationals, people would come up to me afterwards and they'd complain about this, complain about that. And I'm like, 
I can't do anything if you don't come over and get me during your game. You mm -hmm. come over and get me during your game, I can do something about it. I can solve your problem. Mm -hmm. Right? You tell me afterwards, it's like, well, I can walk over and tell the guy to, you know, you got a warning, don't do this again. But unless I see the situation, unless I'm, I'm involved, I can't do anything. Never, never, ever feel ashamed for calling a judge or getting someone else to come in and do something just to make sure that it goes right. We got Graham in there wearing his, uh, his Rebel hoodie. He's biased. Mind you, we got Rebel on Rebel, though. So this is going to be... This is going to be something. This is a very smart way of trying to figure this out. So does he hit Wedge? This is going to be it. Yeah. Stop tapping on the table. But I like playing table piano. Okay. I'll stop playing table piano. My apologies, guys. Oh, oh, and a bump. So, uh, Aaron Kraken will get a shot on Miranda. Chat's going crazy saying that the wedge has been moved around a lot. Like, in all fairness, you guys, like, it, I don't know. It sometimes is really difficult to control that kind of stuff. These small little plastic ships are sliding around on a sliding surface. If the bases were magnetized and the tabletop surface was magnetized or we were playing this as a video game, it might be exact. But this game has a relative degree of in inaccuracy, and we take the good with the bad, and sometimes we got to fly casual. If it bumped, I'm sure it was unintentional. It happens, and, and you do the best you can. you got to do your best. You usually want to use the tops of your nails so that it doesn't slide around and stick to the thing. But there you go. Nim's in a really rough spot here. He yeah, can't he reposition. He's in the middle of three rocks. Yeah. Justin wanted to get in there, get into the rocks, you know, just jam Nim in and, and uh, get some knife fighting in. Uh, but he's got himself in a real yeah, tough place he here. He can't barrel roll, and he doesn't have, and he doesn't have any. He doesn't. He can't boost. From he's there. got. He's got engine upgrades, so he doesn't have long range scanners. So he can target lock. Or you know what he should do right now is trajectory simulate a bomb a, forward. A bomb forward. That'd be great. He's gonna get his own Miranda, but oh no! If only she had a mechanic to continually get back life all the time. And he just proton bombed his own ship. Yep. I mean, face down. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting it into the other two. Sorry, people are saying in chat that Nim was moved incorrectly. If you could... Uh, Nim's PS10. Uh, he went from the left nubs. Can you get Graham to go to the table and see what we can do about that? What happened? Apparently, he maneuvered them incorrectly, so we're going to have... Uh, thanks, guys, for bringing that up. We're going to have the judge go and check on that, make sure that it... Uh, what happened exactly? They, he moved it from the outside of the nubs instead of inside the nubs, is what chat's saying. So just have go Graham check on the table. So you're saying uh, Ryan's name should be over more? To the left, ship left. Yeah, it doesn't line up with the bomb. Uh, oh, okay. Go, go. Here. Yeah. We're gonna, thanks guys, thanks. we're gonna go try to see if we can walk that back to make sure. No, they've got the wrong NIM. Wrong NIM, wrong NIM, guys. Hold on. Look where the bomb was, you go, go, go help. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, Travis has got it. Yeah, guys, we're on it. Thank you so much for pointing that out. That was good. Good call. Well met. Well, well, well listed. We're we're getting it sorted out right now, as you can see. There we go. Good eyes, chat. Good eyes. Good job. Solid. Good teamwork. All is right with the world. Excellent job. Thanks, All guys. Right. So now right. he's decided to. Yeah. So <laughs> after all of that wonderfulness, here comes the here here comes a maybe an ion. Nope. Probably a, he's he's got, got a proton. He's got pro, oh that's a proton. Now a lot of us use the bomb tokens interchangeably. Justin's using them correctly. It's lovely to see. He's using proton bombs for proton bombs, and bomblets for bomblets. And I think Justin's just doing. Leave it there. Just Ryan's it doing there. the same thing. Leave it there. Oh, oh. this game's so fiddly. Boys, butterfingers. Just leave the template there. Or, yeah, do that. All right, solid. <laughs> now the chat's going to go even more insane. But the bomb is incorrectly placed. What are you guys doing, amateur hour? It's not exactly easy. This game has got tons of fiddliness about it. And I can totally understand how if you, if, if you need to exact any measure of control, it would drive you nuts. This is going to be rough for Wedge. You know, the, like uh, I've been playing Nim Miranda a bunch, mostly to give guys reps against it. And, oh, man. It really, like, that five forward proton bomb 
really affects how your opponents fly. Because mm. you may still have all the shields in the world, but all of a sudden a thrust control fire or a blinded pilot or hard turns or, or red. Or a direct hit. Or a direct hit really makes some major changes. Nice. Who's not lined up at the back side of the other net? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they uh, completely missed that bomb. I have no idea where. It, like, it's close to where it should be. They're trying. They figured it out. They, they, they see it. it. They're, they're okay. trying. They're sorting it. All right. We need a six forward in the game. Tie fighters should have an eight forward. Oh my Just god. re-release everything. Oh, oh, boys, boys. Five and then a two. Not two ones. No, and a two. All right. Oh, fine. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, he went four forward. He four forward. It's Never fine. Mind. All right. It's fine. All right. The math checks out. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Welcome to like the the NASCAR version of X Wing. We're just rubbing his racing. We're just bumping well, everywhere. Well, like late in the day, everyone's had a long day. We've been playing since eleven. So everyone... also, I mean, bombing forward mechanic is quite. Fin There's a lot of finicky mechanics in the game. Oh, so did the proton bomb. Yeah, we don't worry. Everything's fine. They've got it all sorted. We've got a judge near the table, keeping an eye on things. So, yeah, it's also a good point to remember, chat too. If he might have, uh, Justin might have just done that as scary, but yeah, exactly. The thing is, you're not gonna throw the proton bomb, so he did do it. All right. Okay, so um, go slap. Do that more. No, <laughs> I'm still playing table piano. <laughs> okay, so pockets. we've got structural damage on Ooh, on wedge. That sucks. So he's going to eat some TLT shots this turn, maybe. Yeah, he didn't have that many. Oh, direct hit somewhere. Direct hit on Miranda. Oh, that's rough. And then what's on Kraken? And on Kraken, we have Ryan's holding us in suspense. Stunned pilot. If he Looks bumps, like bumps, he takes a damage. Thankfully, he's already moved forward. Oh, so man. So his Kraken's already moved and already did its bump. Wedge still hasn't even moved yet for those of us keeping track at home. I don't know if that was worth direct hit on Miranda. No. But, That's... I mean, you don't know. You don't know. You do that you can. He didn't get a lot out of it, I don't think. But the structural damage on Wedge is going to be brutal. He's going to be able to kill him just with the TLTs. He's going to get three versus one. Oh, jeez. So. Was that, that was uh, Shaken Pilot, not Stunned, Travis? Uh, did I get it wrong? Uh, did, well, did, what did they say on the table? I believe it was Stunned. Yeah, I. You you know what you got an you got an interesting point. That's true. We forget. So Kraken is gonna be shooting at range one, three dice naturals, and uh, and, and he is firing first. And Nim has auto blaster turret, just pushing damage through. Yeah. Hit oh, crit. hit crit. Hit crit. A uh, Miranda's that's her shield at least. Yep. I and mean. now someone's gonna get a free action, which I give that action to Wedge for a focus. Who's Wedge gonna shoot? Nobody, but at least he gets the evade on the attack on the defense die when he gets it from the thing. What's the oh, crit? He he's using the action to turn the structural damage down. Smart. That's actually a really smart play. Preserving his wedge for more for more round. So that's that's the stunned pilot on on Kraken. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the auto blaster is right there. Yeah. He's only got to get one out of the... He's got focus target lock. He's only got to hit one. So, um... This is uh, TLT he's on... He's checking for a target lock from Wedge on to... Oh, Wedge is target from Aaron. Right, okay. So he's keeping the... So Ryan has elected to keep the um, the crit and get a target lock on Nim for next turn. And now here comes the auto blaster on Miranda. I oh, assume, this might be it. Oh, target lock. It doesn't... Yeah, he's just going to guarantee the, the dead. Spend the target lock. Uh, Miranda lost uh, two shield or one more shield. Yeah, now she's Oof. dead. Done. Two dice. Done. Two damage. Right Damn. through. Damn. Wow, Ooh. that was that was interesting. Oof. So the proton bomb is gonna come back to haunt him because she should still have two hull left. Oh, that's brutal. She should still have two hull left, so she's still alive. So Nim is shooting. It looks like ty harpoons, harpoons at Nim. Three hits. Two hits go through. Yeah. Then we'll be harpooned. Condition applied. Yeah. Two shields gone. Thank you, Ryan, for showing us. He's no. He's he's old hat to stream. Oh man, this is uh, this game is not over for for uh, for Justin. 
that 51 point Nim is amazing. If he can get start to get some of the ships off the board, he's got trajectory one... simulator is going to be great for that. Yeah, he still has one of each bomb left. He still has one harpoon left. He still has a TLT. He and still has a trajectory simulator. However, he's still going to hit an asteroid next turn unless he has the hard two to the left. He can hard one. Can't, right. can't those ships hard one? They can do whatever they want. <laughs> like, uh, the, the, the Havoc is so silly. Yeah, Foolish Hearts thing. I think the Harpoon was a good call. He needed to push some damage through. Even though it was through the rock, he had to try to get back into the game. Um, losing the Miranda that way was pretty tough. So, I was wrong. The Havoc does not have a hard one, no. even though it is an absurd ship. The hard two, I don't think... Uh, if he does a hard two up board away from uh, yeah ship his ships. left, ship right might clip the front of that rock. I don't know. I think he's okay. Ship right. Now this bomb that's left, that is Ryan's bomb. That is Ryan's bomb. That's correct. So he has to decide between taking a bomblet or knowing exactly where, or having Ryan know exactly where his ships are going to be. But, oh, wedge is K turning. That's why he took the target lock for the free action from from Aaron. Oh, maybe, eh? Yeah. But also, Ryan's Nim. Can drop a bomblet before he g gets out of there. Yeah, bomb his own ships. Also, Ryan has initiative, so he has to do it before he sees where Justin's ship's gonna go. Yeah, but if he bombs in 4K, he might be all right. Although I don't believe the Z has a 4K. It's got a 3K. Who the Z? A, a Z? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Z's got a 3K. So it's not very far enough. I think he just goes one straight with Aaron. You want Aaron to fire so you can get the target lock, uh, the action. Yeah. Especially if he's gonna K turn his wedge. Uh, what's the range on Aaron's ability? Uh, let's check. It's been such such a long time since we've seen these these ships, and I'm glad to see them on the top tables. I mean, a, a named Z95. That's amazing. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm in scum. That's a bad plan. Here we go. Z95. Aaron Kraken is range one. Okay. But he so. can perform a free action, and I don't think that works with Wedge if he does your K-turn. Free trick. action means you can't get right because he'd be stressed. Exactly. Yeah, Zero Mouse, uh, you should definitely try uh, Ryan's list. That You should also make sure you follow the follow, uh, follow, is it follow the leader. What's the blog? I'm not sure what Ryan's blog is. I didn't. No, I didn't no, not Ryan's blog. Um, there's a really great blog out there. Uh, he actually is posting the chat. Can you post back in the chat? Name your blog. I apologize for forgetting it. I know I've read it a couple times. It's great. Uh, he took the turn. He took the same list to a tournament and had a lot of fun smashing skulls. This is this you is. Should all go out there and read that blog. This is going to be interesting. I really want to see where Justin takes Nim. Does Ryan's Nim stay is, on the leader? Sorry. Stay on the leader. Okay. I'll have a go so, and read it. So Ryan's Nim is just really got to get in there, and uh, it's just it's going to be very easy for Wedge or Aaron to die, and so he can easily target them, and and Nim is wounded. So. He's limping along, and Justin's got a, a, a pure Miranda. A I was pure just Nim. about he to ask have... if he's talent rolling. He's talent rolling? Yeah. Oh, beauty. Because if he can get Aaron Kraken within range one, to no, get he the can't because he's going to be stressed. He can't oh, you're get right. The sorry. Free sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we got we to gotta see what's happening here. He may be just trying to be spreading out the harpoon condition, or. Uh, there's the 4K from. Uh... Is it 4K? 4K from Wedge. Nope. Oh, no. I'm back. Uh, oof. I'm red green colorblind, so I just guess half the time. Yeah, it was a bank. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see that at all. So and, he's, and, and he's blocking Aaron Kraken, who has a stunned pilot. If he bumps, he takes damage. So he's. I don't think he cares at this point. Well, he's got to get out of there. He might be going hard three to the other side. Oh, well, yeah, he's just got, getting out. It's fine. It's a, that's an it's interesting still a quite a, See, the thing is, because just because Ryan's got that bomb down there, and because of where he put his wedge and his nim, yeah. he's got both lanes covered. He's going to get shots on Justin's nim this turn, yeah. 100%. And he might get a range one shot from wedge with a target lock, and nim's going to have zero dice. That's the dream. So I like this call from uh, Justin's look like he's going to launch a bomb forward he's, with he's, Genius. He's, he's thinking about it. He's, he's thinking, thinking about, about it. using Genius to launch a bomb forward. That is what he should do because yes. he will take. He should proton he's bomb gonna, again. He's gonna take Aaron off the board with a proton bomb. Yes. And he has a forty percent chance of taking Wedge off the board with a proton yes, bomb. Yes, I agree. If he, that five is in, which I think it is, that is what he should do. I agree. Absolutely. He's doing it. Uh, yeah. There is no doubt in my mind that that is the right move. And we will see a proton bomb here. Absolutely. Look at that. 
Yeah, so that is both those ships. Both those ships are essentially dead. We'll see. But it we'll, could be. Well, Aaron is dead. There is no way he can survive. Yes, yeah. Um, Unless some miracle, by some miracle, that's not range one. Yeah. Unless they move bomb tokens again and it's different. Now, he's going to eat a bomblet here, uh, it seems, but that's more than worth it to take ships off the board. He's gotten out of. That's a great call by Justin. Getting out. He has engine upgrade. He's got en I forgot he had engine. It's been a while since I've seen him with engine. Look at that. Just, just. I mean, he might not have made it out because of the way the corners are. I think he's clear. But, uh, I think that was a beautiful play. That trajectory us, simulator. So listen, all of us were telling us, oh, Justin made the wrong call, wrong call. Clearly not. Oh, boom, oh, boom. There goes Aaron Kraken. He's let's, dead. Let's see what he's got. Uh, it doesn't matter. Under yeah, the shields. Did. Dies with full shields. Oh. Full shields and a missile for those at home keeping score. Yeah. Oh, and fair enough. Those wedge. harpoons never got off. And that's Wedge potentially wedge. died to a direct hit, and he got him. He got him. He direct got him. hit. Wow. What did I say? Those two dead ships? I said those two dead ships. Wow. Yeah. 40% chance. 40% chance. Yeah. 36 of direct hit plus uh, plus one for major explosion. Plus wow. Plus 4% for major explosion. Absolutely. So you can hear Justin whooping. Uh, I don't know if you can hear him, but he's he's, whooping. he's, he's Yeah. He's we're, quite we're, pleased with how that math worked out in his favor We're there. 10 meters away, and we can hear him. He's it's got, like when we could hear Don shaking those dice. So he's got a full health Nim Versus with a, a TLT against the Nim that doesn't have a TLT. Yes. Guys. This is that that this this that was one hell of a turn. Like that uh oh. prepare to see this ship literally everywhere. Yeah. Like uh, Nim Miranda is an amazing list. Absolutely. Just that Nim alone is yeah. fifty points, but I think that's a game changing league. Are are they gonna do the bomblets? Are they gonna check I think check, maybe, check, check. Maybe hopefully Ryan, he might have just tilted and forgotten to blow it up. I, I He's don't out of know. Range there. I mean, both these guys, no matter what they lose, they lose their four and zero, oh, right? Going four and one, going into the final round, should be fine. Um, so they're saying neither Nim has TLT, and they are correct. Both of them. Oh, are they auto. have auto blaster. Yes. So look at that. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something about all this egg on my face. It's getting a bit ridiculous here. But even then. Justin's has full health. The bombs, and if they set up a joust again, he can ion trajectory and then set up a K turn or a, well, a talon roll. Really, that's uh, this isn't this is about to become a very, very interesting match. Absolutely, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to start to try and re-engage, and uh, maybe. Maybe Ryan decided that that bomblet was out of range one. He wanted to hold it for continued control. Yeah, and just locked that side of the board off and and heard uh, Justin's nim in his direction. Absolutely. Because he'll probably go one forward, clear his stress. A little faster, a little faster. Two? Instead of two, yeah. Okay. Uh, chat wants to know if uh, Ryan can still win, and I think so. It's he's He's got Ray, so he's got to disengage, get out of there. He shoots first. So if he gets in and really gets damage in, it, it, it should be all right. He's got unlimited bombs. If he can force Justin's Nim to waste some of his munitions, right? Uh, they've both got harpoons left. Captain uh, Justin's Nim only has one bomb left, whereas Ryan has infinite bombs mm -hmm. left. So. But Ryan can only drop them behind him. Ryan can only drop it behind him. I think for, I think for Ryan to win, he's got to stay behind Justin's Nim. Really? I think so. Because he can't... He so only that, has one bomb left. He has one ion bomb. Whereas, if he's behind him, they don't have. he doesn't have a TLT to worry about. As long as he's without range one, he's eventually going to be able to whittle him down. Right. That's my opinion. I might be incorrect, but in two matching PSs with the exact same central loadouts, and one of them having more hull than the other, this is This is going to be interesting. He's going to try and... Uh, Justin's trying to target lock right now. Yeah. Right? He's out. He's out. So he knows that he's not going to get shot at by Ryan. Ryan has target lock. He's got a banked focus on Ray, right? So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, if he's going to boost, if he's going to boost in for a shot, because I don't believe Justin has a target lock. Oh, well, he's going to barrel roll away. That is very interesting. You know what he might be doing here is setting up for a hard to yep. next turn. Target lock, focus, harpoon shot, maybe? I was going to say trajectory simulator, ion bomb, and oh, then get okay. past him. Lock him down for a turn, going the wrong way. Don't forget, though, that Ryan would have already moved first, so the trajectory simulator would probably miss him if Ryan remembers that he can just do the two bank. Well, if they're... 
dials are down. So Justin's made his plan. He's got it in. His dial is set. He knew what he was doing when he was barrel rolling. He already made his dial mm -hmm. decision. Now Ryan's got to play the mind game of guessing what's in Justin's head. Mm -hmm. Is he? He's got focus target lock. He's got Ray banked. He's got. He's got a position open to him, so he'll probably try to get past the two rocks so he can barrel roll for position with his focus target lock. Interesting. Right? Maybe, yeah. And if Justin... He might just do a one bank and set up, a tar um, set up his harpoon missile. But that, that doesn't give him the option to barrel roll, which is the only action open to him. A one bank to his ship right allows him to do focus. He doesn't really need the barrel roll. If he gets out of there... No, if you just a one bank, a one bank ship, right? I mean, Justin's destroyed more. Ryan has to get in there and has to. Yeah, Ryan's nim is worth less. He's got to. He yeah. has to. He has to kill the win. Ryan this has to be aggressive This is here. a one-on-one -on -one dogfight where you absolutely have to have like, one person Ryan, kill the win. Ryan can't run here. He has to come in through the rocks. He's got to be aggressive. Yeah, and Justin could try to run for thirty-five minutes, but that's a long time to run away. Proton bombs are so good, especially when you hurl them at your opponent at range two. Mm. It's brutal. They really are brutal. There he goes, range one. One bank. I guess he's gonna be. I guess he's gonna be focusing. So we'll see. Oh yeah, you're probably you are right. Does he have extra munitions or? Well, he's trying to get rid of the harpoon. Oh, okay, that is also something that is open to, and he loses a shield. Ryan lost his last shield to dump the harpoon I condition. I assume he'd rather dump the harpoon, harpoon on a shield than on his hull. Uh, yeah, chat, I think chat is correct. Nim has spent his harpoon. Yeah, so he spent it to do Travis, all the damage to Miranda. Travis, can you toss harpoon? Sorry, that changes my thoughts. I didn't realize he didn't. Yeah, that's, that's a good, you know, well, I don't know. Not having his harpoon makes it so much There's the hard two. To, so so we, were both, we were both right once. So Justin's doing the hard two. Nim, Ryan, Ryan did the one bank. He's going to focus and shoot and the harpoon. And we'll see... Oh, he's going he, he's gonna trajectory simulate the ion bomb. Just he's like gonna he said. Yeah, absolutely, right? Yeah, Nim gets hit by the ion bomb. 100%. Sabine's off the board, so it's no damage, but it's yeah. an ion. Yeah. Right? He's got no control. They're flying casual, not actually placing the bomb. Because it's pretty obvious. We can make it pretty easy. It's obvious it. he's gonna get hit by it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he didn't have. Okay, I still, I still fire the harpoon missile. So Travis, we're out of. That's the last ion bomb. Ion bombs are done now. And. Uh, I think Oof. I absolutely fire the. Um, I think I absolutely fire the harpoon missile there. Yeah. I mean, you don't have chips, but whatever. There's. This is damage. Yeah, here comes the harpoons. This is what I thought we would see. And range two. You know it's range two because you just put the trajectory simulator down. But better double check. Pro tip for new players, range five or, or five forward is exactly Ooh, that looks like pretty good natural. Range two. It's hard to see what he's getting on the natty That's there. that's three natties, that's three three hits with one evade. So oh, it looks Justin like Justin did not shoot his um Oh sorry, my mistake. Ryan, Ryan, has, Ryan has initiative. Okay, sorry. So here come uh yeah, here comes the harpoon missile. Here comes the harpoon missile with a reroll. Spending the target lock. What a game. What a game. Two All right. Two, one hit and two crits. Oh, that's just brutal for... Ah, uh, that's not what Ryan wanted to see. Nope. Hit. Crit, direct, direct hit. And damaged engine, maybe? Oh, weapons failure? No, something. It's a long one. We'll figure it out in a second. Oh, damaged cockpit. Oh. Damaged cockpit, Travis? That's what they're saying. Well, I guess considering Ryan had initiative, he pretty much had damage cockpit anyways. Oh, uh, it's not changing much. But with two health left on uh, health, health, two well, health. Well, two health left, you know he's going one forward. Set yourself up to get a target lock for your auto blaster and end the game. I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd hard three to the upboard to the ship left. Yeah. And, target uh, lock him and just, and just end it with a, he's got one hole left. Yeah. That's, that's what I would do. Or three oh. forward. So in chat, Travis, they're asking about what we use for crit displays. That's all uh, That's all you, isn't it? It's proprietary custom-built engine, yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
the crits coming in like that and all that kind of stuff, that's that's done directly by the VTT. Travis is furiously typing. You may get an answer, chat. There. Yes, absolutely, Pierre. The two proton bombs most definitely turned this game around. He, Ryan, literally lost. That's that's been my experience. Eight points of his list with two bombs. That's been my experience with this list. The proton bombs make every game because you come in, you joust with the two ships, you put nine dice from harpoon missiles plus the proton bomb uh, with those crits underneath the shields. Your your opponents like no matter what happens, no matter how bad the crit is, it's still a crit. It affects how they fly. It freaks them out. It's psychologically damaging. You just come in and smash them in the face. I mean, so we we were thinking that that crit on his Sabine on his Miranda was an awful decision. It ended up making the game for him. He traded uh, Miranda he for traded his Miranda for fifty eight points of Ryan's list. So not sure if that was such a bad call after all. It was it was forty six for fifty eight. I mean, it was extremely trade. aggressive. Yeah, it was. And Nim Miranda does not fly like Miranda. You expect Miranda to to fly. She has to be very aggressive very early on, and then flee and regen. And if you don't live, all right, Nim's gotta Nim's gotta hold that for it. Mm -hmm. Like it's just where. Uh, yeah, that was his last harpoon. Yeah, and so. Ryan's Nim is harpooned. But, oh, there you go. We forgot. He can barrel roll. It's a good call by Ryan. Yeah, I believe he still... Does he have a focus on Ray? we got to check and move his arm. He does still have a focus on Ray. Yeah, so I think you use it here. So he's going to... Hopefully remember that he... Oh, it's being in combat. You so. know, that blocks the hard three we were talking about. Mm -hmm. But chat was saying earlier, four straight. No, four straight does do it. Or, oh. or the one straight. Or just the one. The one straight. Oh. Now... Um, you eat some damage, but whatever. Target lock. Ryan's Ryan's got it's four dice primary target lock. Four dice primary target lock. So, oh, Ryan's auto blast ring. Ryan, Does no, Justin's Justin. They just decided. They just to roll. decided to roll it to see if they could do all the rest of it for the end of the game. There you go. Interesting. Well, simultaneous fire. What is he gonna do? You know, trajectory simulator is catching a lot of people off guard today. I think that was a really great game. Swung back and forth there in the middle quite a bit. And uh, good game for Justin and Ryan. That I mean, was uh, pretty fantastic.